Welcome to Angie B's house. I'm Angie B. And anyone who has children know that no matter how hard you try to keep accidents from happening, it still happens. And so today I'm going to show what I have done to keep the bed fresh and clean when the unfortunate accidents happen in the middle of the night. Okay, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a good scrub brush, a bowl to mix your cleaner in, and I'll add that this is an all natural cleaner, so no awful fumes, no mask needed. Uh, you may want to wear gloves simply because um, one of the ingredients is pure, just plain white vinegar, and it can be irritating to the skin. But all I use is um, white vinegar. I've measured out one cup. And then I also have lemon juice. Uh, I have on occasion used fresh lemons. I just didn't happen to have any. And good old fashioned baking soda. Very inexpensive. You can get these at the dollar store two for a dollar. They're smaller boxes, but you can get them two for a dollar. So also in addition to being all natural, very very inexpensive. So I don't have exact measurements, but what I will do is I will, and then I have a, oh, I have a fork to mix it with. And I did get a plastic fork because sometimes when you're using metal with the vinegar, it can react with the metal spoons and forks. So um, plastic fork, ceramic bowl, and, pl and plastic measurings. And plastic measuring spoons. Okay, so I just start out with a couple of tablespoons of baking soda. This doesn't have to be exact. And of course I make a mess. A couple tablespoons of lemon juice. I'll just shake this up just to make sure it's well mixed. And what I want is the consistency to be is going to be a paste. And as you can see, the lemon juice, I'll show you here in a minute. The lemon juice and the baking soda have a chemical reaction and begins to foam. Okay. Mix that up a little bit. It smells really good. That is if you like lemon. I know not everyone does. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of vinegar. And boy, look at that reaction. You can probably hear it. And I put in about a quarter cup. Let's go ahead and make an even quarter cup. And I'll just stir it some more. And as you can see, it's not really a paste. So I'll add a couple more tablespoons of baking soda. And stir that in. Yeah. Okay, still pretty runny. Let me smell it real quick because you want to be able to smell the lemon. Can't really smell the lemon that much, so before I add more baking soda, I'm just going to give a couple more squirts of lemon juice. And more baking soda. And the amount that you make too is going to depend on not only the right consistency, but how much of the bed you want to do. Uh, I have a twin bed and I'm going to do the whole entire bed. So I do want to make sure that I have enough to cover the whole bed. Okay. So I think we're up to about six tablespoons. Which would be, let's see, two, about three eighths of a cup. That's two tablespoons to make an eighth of a cup. Okay. Still not quite there, so 
just keep adding baking soda until you get the right consistency. I'm just about out, so I think I'll just add the rest and then... <laughs> That's all I have. So I'll just add it and use what I got. Okay, so let me go ahead and get this stirred up. Get this cleared off the bed and then I'll show you how I apply it. Okay, so I did let it sit for about between 5 and 10 minutes. And as you can see, it did end up getting closer to that paste consistency I was looking for. Uh, it is still a little liquidy. And if I were to continue to let it sit, it would, if it, the, the extra liquid would eventually soak up um, or be absorbed into the rest of the cleaner. But... Uh, I'm gonna gonna go ahead and use it uh, like this. For one, it'll make it easier to spread. Uh, but also, too, um, you just the more liquidy it is, the longer you just have to wait for it to dry. Uh, because once you apply it to the to the mattress, you let it get so it's completely dry, and then just vacuum it. It's as simple as that. Okay, what I'll do is I'll just take my brush. Get, get a lot of the cleaner onto the brush. Here, let me show. See it. See how it's dripping, but you can see there's a lot of the cleaner stuck to the bristles of the brush. And you just start scrubbing. Put it all over the bed. As, as it soaks into the bed, you will get flaking. I don't think I have enough for the whole bed. Uh, so I'll just make sure that I get where I can definitely see it, it's dirty. Now if I had gloves, I would probably just spread this with my hands. But you just get it rubbed into the mattress really well. I try to find the spots that need cleaned and just scrub it all on it. The lemon juice and the baking soda act as a deodorizer and then the vinegar just acts as a little old purpose cleaner. It's one of my favorite things to use around the house for cleaning baking soda. Well this this combination works very very well on a lot of applications uh, we need, you know, need some de cleaning as well as deodorizing. And see as you can tell in the longer it's sitting the less drippy and liquidy it gets. Oops. Less drippy less liquidy it gets. And it can splatter, but that's also the beauty of, of using these natural ingredients is it doesn't typically stain or bleach or anything. So I got some on the wall, I'll just wipe the wall off, clean the wall when I'm at it. Oops. So I'll go ahead and finish getting this scrubbed and then I'll wait for it to be thoroughly dried and I'll bring you back when it's thoroughly dried. So I'm back. It has been, I will admit, a few days since I applied the cleaner to the mattress top. The nice thing about it is that you know, if you don't get to it right away, there's no harm in leaving it on the mattress. Uh, this is my spare bedroom, so slash storeroom. So having it out of commission for a few days 
was no problem. So let me go ahead and zoom in and let you see what it looks like once the cleaner dries and then we'll go ahead and get it vacuumed. Okay, this spot right here does give you a good idea of what it looks like. It's just white. It's stuck to the mattress and you feel, feel it. It's dry. But if you, you know, feel it right between your fingers, it's, it's gritty like uh, the baking soda or gritty from the baking soda. Now, um, I'll go ahead and get this vacuum so you can see what the finished product looks like. And if you take a look, yes, you'll see that it looks like I'm using a shop vac, which I am. Uh, we have one just for the house that we use, and we found that it works a lot better because of all the pet hair that we have from our yellow Labrador, which is named Flash, and our cat, Alexander Hamilton. Um, they both have yellow, long, long yellow hair, and it gets everywhere. So the, vac, the shop vac just works better uh, in getting all of that hair picked up than the standard vacuum. So let's get started. stain and it smells absolutely refreshed no urine smell anymore uh, do have a little bit more vacuuming to go but for the most part I'm done and so I hope that you like my tip and that you find that it works for you until next time thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and please leave a comment let me know what you think especially if you try this trick and whether or not it works for you. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.